Hello and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Alex Lipic. You join us here in Amsterdam at Money 2020. And I'm very pleased indeed to be joined by Mick Fennell of Temenos and also Jan Willem van der Schut of Mastercard. Thank you both ever so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, I'm going to come to you first, Mick, if that's OK. So how is the current state of cross-border payments really impacting the financial industry as a whole? And what do you identify as the kind of biggest challenges at the moment? Just let's start there. Yeah, no, thanks, Alex. I mean, cross-border payments is a very exciting place to be. Uh, it's also a very challenging place. Uh, and that's because there's a lot of changes going on. Volumes are, are continuing to rise and customers are demanding quicker, cheaper, better services. Sure. Uh, and the challenge for financial institutions is to be able to offer those services, offer those services efficiently, mm. and, and to be able to connect their customers with, with the, the beneficiaries that they want to send money to right. or where they're receiving money. So, so that is a big challenge for all of the banks. Um, it's also a challenge of the, the number of different services that they have to actually support. Um, and that's certainly where we're spending a lot of our time trying to help our customers do that. Sure. Thank you for identifying those challenges for us. Um, Jan, if I can come to you, if I may, what innovations are we seeing at the moment to kind of address and combat these challenges? Yeah, so if you see uh, the global economy, of course, uh, growing, um, uh, we see the need of uh, fast, transparent and reliable service for cross-border uh, payments, disbursements and remittances, for example. Um, and there are quite a few challenges. Eh? One of the challenges is, okay, where to send the money to? Eh? Uh, people want to send it to an account, but also to a card, uh, a wallet, but also very important, cash out locations. Um, that's, that, that's used a lot, uh, a lot as well. Um, so big challenges uh, there are, for example, the accessibility. Uh, so indeed, how to get the money to a person uh, and how to pick it up. Uh, and it's still the case, and recent research shows that uh, about a third of the, uh, the people who, who get the money sent to them find difficulties and need to, to get the money to them. Um, some even need to travel long distances to get the money. Um, so there's really a need to, uh, to solve these challenges uh, uh, in the near future. Sure. Yeah, and, and just on yes, that, and you were yeah. talking about innovation. To solve those challenges, when we talk about innovation in the cross-border space, it's in lots mm. of different areas. First of all, the emergence of instant payment rails to, to utilize them and leverage them for quicker delivery mm. and to tie them together. And one of the other things that's tying things together is data innovation through the ISO 20022 standardization of data. So that's helping us be more transparent with the data back out to the customers. And then ultimately it's about engaging the customers through technologies like API and also cloud-based innovations in terms of the flexibility, the scalability, the resilience that we can offer our customers through cloud-based and also SaaS-based services. So all of those innovations and then you layer on top of that things like AI, yeah. for things like smart routing, for automated repair. It's all about the che cheaper, quicker, better services and utilizing technology and innovations there to deliver those services quicker. Sure, so it's really about bringing together all these different elements that you've mentioned and there's a lot of them on the table at the moment. A lot of them on the table and yeah. you need to do it also in a secure way and I think that's very important as well because people do trust their banks. But they still have worries about um, when is the money coming, mm. um, is it traceable, a yes or no, um, how do we make sure that there is, is the, the, the chance of fraud is very low. I think with also our cyber intelligence solutions, which we integrate in the Mascar Move product, uh, they cater for that as well. And that really gives trust to the users of these, uh, of these solutions and it helps also in the driving adoption. Sure. So um, it seems to me like collaborations key here. Yeah. So, so how important would you say collaboration is really, pulling these elements together in order to forge the path to a successful cross-border payment strategy? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not just key, it's demanded, it's mandatory. Sure. Uh, cross-border by its very nature is a collaborative exercise. It started out correspondent banking, banks in different jurisdictions collaborating with each other. But it's not just the banks, it's the infrastructure, as I said, it's the standards, sure. it's all of the players collaborating with each other. And so when you see a service, and you know, 
this is one of the reasons we're here, is the collaboration between organizations like Temenos and MasterCard and bringing services together. So our job as a provider is to help our customers deliver better services quicker, cheaper. And that's why we collaborate with a provider like MasterCard and the MasterCard Move uh, solution mm. to enable our customers to deliver better cross-border services to their customers. Yeah, and I think uh, I can definitely uh, confirm that. I mean, in payments, it's all about partnership. I mean, um, if we could do it alone, we probably would even not uh, need money 2020 at all here. Uh, it's really something um, what you have to do together, and that's then when you get results, and then when you get solutions which work for uh, for everybody. Um, and that's also um, um, the case in the Temnos Mastercard Move uh, partnership. I mean, by integrating Mastercard Move into the Temnos Payment Hub, um, we give the um, the great features of Mastercard Move and integrate them to the customers of Temnos, uh, um, and which help them also offer seamless solutions. Toward, towards their end consumers. And I'm super happy that we've, uh, we've, we've made it happen. I'm super happy for Mascar Move customers and for Terminus customers well, that that partnership can, yeah, can further strengthen their propositions as well. Sure. So as we said, collaboration, you've just proved it, is key. Yeah. Your partnership seems to be a really strong one. Um, that's also why these events are really important. But I just really wanted to thank you for taking your time out of the event to speak with us today and wish you the best of luck moving forwards. Well, yeah, thanks, thanks, Alex. Thank you for your time, Alex, and great spending time yeah. with you, Jan. Well, Likewise. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, Jan. Thank you very much.